In the marriage garden, we talk about six principles. The second principle is that of grow. Grow, and, and, and the idea behind grow is that when we are doing things that help us to be healthy and balanced and flourishing, then we bring a lot more to marriage. It just makes sense, doesn't it? We want to be healthy people so that we have more to offer in our, in our close relationship. Now, in, in the extension service, we have developed a program that focuses on, on that. It's called the Personal Journey. So if you check with your county agent, you can get a copy of either Marriage Garden or Personal Journey. But I want to talk more about that idea of, of growing and growth. There are three main principles that are at the heart of growth. The first one is, is enjoying the everyday, enjoying today. And, uh, you know, when, as I think about these principles, I think about some people I think were a good example of it in marriage. Uh, my wife's grandparents, Les and Stella Thacker, were really good examples of these principles. Like when I think about the enjoying today or enjoying the everyday, um, they had this habit of every morning after they got up and got ready for the day that they would jump in, in grandpa's pickup truck and they would drive downtown and have a little breakfast together. They were spending that time together enjoying the ordinary. They also would meander out into their garden and work on the garden and do odd things around the place. So they were really simple things. These were not the trips to Hawaii. They never got to Hawaii, but they made their little trips to the backyard or down for a little bit of breakfast. Now there's a second idea related to being healthy and balanced. And that idea is to use our strengths, using our strengths. And, and I remember that after grandpa and grandma were retired, one of the things they'd do together, they'd sit there at the kitchen table and they would write poems. So here was this couple reflecting on their lives, trying to make sense of it all and celebrate the good things by writing poems. And uh, we still, of course, as a family, have and cherish those poems. So, so there's enjoying the everyday, there's uh, using our strengths, and then there's serving, serving. Grandma and Grandpa would look around the neighborhood and see needs. Uh, I remember all through the 80s where Grandpa would go out to the dump and he would gather up pieces of sheet metal and wheels and old lawnmowers and he would make carts. So the widows in the neighborhood would have a cart to drag their garbage cans out to the curbside. And, and uh, as we would drive around the neighborhood with our children, we lived just around the corner from them, as we drove around the neighborhood, we could point out to our kids, look kids, there are some carts that your great-grandpa made. Wow, what a good example. And, and indeed, into their 80s and 90s, this was a vibrant couple because they did those three key things that kept them growing. They enjoyed the everyday, they used their strengths, and they served. What a good example they are. You can learn more about the Marriage Garden and other family programs by contacting your local county extension agent. You can find a wealth of tips and programs at arfamilies.org. You can also buy a copy of the new Marriage Garden book at the Extension website or at your local book dealer.